Hello, welcome. We are going to perform the operation and reduce the answer fully of this expression. What does that mean? Well, we got subtraction. That's our operation. We're going to subtract these fractions and then reduce the result. So why don't you pause the video, try it out, and press play when you're ready to talk about it. Okay, so what I would do first is write out our two bottom numbers, the denominators, and I would list out multiples of each of them until I get something in common. So for example, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the fifth multiple of 6 is 30. The second multiple of 15 is also 30. So they're equal. These multiples are equal at 30. So if I multiply 5, 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 over 5, and I multiply 8 15 by 2 over 2, what will happen? Let's try it out. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 6 is 30. 8 times 2 is 16, and 15 times 2 is 30. So if I subtract these two now, it's easier to do because I'm, I'm half 30ths in both fractions. So when you're at this stage, all you have to do is subtract the top numbers, the numerators. In this case, 9 over 30 would be our answer, but we have to reduce. So we look at 9 and 30 and say, what's a factor that goes into both 9 and 30? And that's 3. I'm going to divide both of them by 3. What this does is scale the fraction back down. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 30 divided by 3 is 10. Now, 3 and 10 have no other common factors other than 1, so it's been reduced, and we're done. All right, I hope this helped.